there, Rudolph. It's not the 24th of December yet. It's just a practice run to drop off box number three to the fine chaps and ladies who enjoy algorithmic products. So let's open the box and see what's in day three. The Splatter Node! Ho 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 ho! Thank you, Santa! So uh, today it's the Splatter Node. So this can be found within the Pattern section down here. The Splatter Node. Now this is an extremely useful node for creating patterns and then randomly spreading them out so if you can imagine pebbles on perhaps um, a rocky floor or something like that or on a, on a muddy floor small stones here and there this can be used to create that so we've got a splatter node here and I've just dragged in a polygon 2 node which is just another one which is just here just so I can use it as a demonstration so it's grayscale so I'm going to plug this into the splatter node there and straight away you can see we start to get all these small dots now I've got a diffuse output so I'm just going to plug that into there so we can see what's going on so as you can see what it's done is it's took this polygon 2 node and just uniformly spread it out across the surface of the cube or the texture now the uh, parameters that you can change here we've got pattern size width so you may be plugging in something like this Polygon 2 node, but once you start messing around, you can see you can start to make all different kinds of shapes and patterns, and can change the pattern height. So now we've got something completely looks more like square cubes sort of coming in, like a tread. Um, we can change the rotation, so we can change each one together or we can do a rotation variation so now you can get some variation in there handy if you're going to do the pebbles type thing uh, we can zoom in uh, but I normally leave that at 100 we've got gain as well so we can start to bring in more of the whiter tones and drop it out completely if you wish uh, that's good for if you're going to be plugging this into a normal map to get different heights um, obviously we can pan it across and it's going to tile uh, X and Y um, that's ensuring you've got the tiling mode up here set to HMV tiling. Um, we've got disorder, so this is really useful if you want to get some randomization going into there. And we can also bring it down as well, so you've just got the one and then it's the grid number is the amount that you can actually change it. So now we're starting to get some weird kind of, I don't know, uh, retro kind of dots type thing going on. You can change the angle. Um, you can also disorder random, you can click that and it'll just do a, a a procedure and just randomly do it for you. Pattern size, so you can change that, but at the minute that's not actually doing anything. Um, size variation, so obviously each one would have a different size. And we can also clamp the output and uh, the level max as well, so we can clamp it with these two sliders also. There's a background color and also luminance variation, so if you do have a lot of stones and you want some to be a bit more sunken in and some to be showing more, then this luminance variation is really useful. And if you're going to use it for a mask as well, then that gives you some more color tones and blends that you could be using when you're blending things together. So going back to uh, the trusty uh, height normal blender with just a normal plugged in there, what I'm going to do is, let's just bring down the grid number again, I'm just going to bring it down to say something like that, and then I'm just going to go from this grayscale input, I'm going to use the height normal blender we looked at at day one, and now you can see we can use it to do some height as well, and we can also change the intensity or bring it down, and using that, variate, that very um, luminous variation slider here, you can start to bring some of them a bit lower or higher. Extremely useful node is the splatter node. So uh, luckily enough, it's, I think it was important to show this on day three and I hope it's going to be useful for you today. My, my, Rudolph, what a fabulous node that is and rather interesting results, eh? Hey? Join us tomorrow where we'll be looking at box number four and who knows what treats are in store.